What's going on today guys and welcome to Eddie Studios. For those who haven't been here before, I do weekly videos with tips and tricks to help you be a better videographer. Part of being a better videographer is being able to edit your footage. So I recently purchased an anamorphic lens for my DJI Osmo Pocket 2 and my last video was about that. If you haven't seen that video, check it out right up here. But today I want to talk about how to de-squeeze that anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve. Now, this isn't just for this Osmo Pocket 2 one, so if you're looking to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve, pay attention because it's gonna help you out. There's a couple ways to do it. One of the ways only works for your standard aspect ratios for anamorphic, which is the standard way I've seen in other videos on YouTube. But I found a different way that works more like how you do it in Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna show you both ways of de-squeezing anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve and the one that works good for this because it's a weird aspect ratio at 1.15. Not a typical anamorphic aspect ratio, so I had to be a little creative and figure out a new way to do it. Let's get right into it. I'm in the edit tab here, and what you're gonna do for the first option, which is the most commonly taught when you look up other videos on how to do anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve, you're gonna right click on the, on the video clip and go to clip attributes and then under the pixel aspect ratio is where you're gonna change it. So you can either do CinemaScope for like extremely wide. The closest I'm gonna get on this footage, which is a 1.15, is this 1.25. And if I do that, you know, I drag it down to my timeline, you'll see it looks okay, but it's definitely stretched a little wide. So I'm gonna remove this clip attribute and then I'm gonna show you the other way that I would do Anamorphic de-squeeze in DaVinci Resolve, which works better for these weird aspect ratios like this one specifically. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, eliminate what I just did. Let's go here. Okay, so now we're back to where it's square. And I'm gonna go under my effects library. You wanna go to effects library under open effects, under resolve effects transform move that down over the top of your clip then it gives you your option over here in your inspector to do stuff with your effect and i'm going to go to my height and i'm going to change it on this i've played with it a little bit and math tells me it should be 0.85 but 0.88 looks the best and looks most accurate to me so 0.88 under height gives me the most accurate anamorphic and that looks good. So that is how it should look when you're doing a 1.15 aspect ratio for anamorphic. So I hope that helped you out a lot with being able to figure out how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage in DaVinci Resolve. If it did, please smash that like button. And if you wanna learn more about how to be a better videographer in a budget-friendly way, subscribe to the channel because that's what I'm all about. Any comments would help for ideas of what you'd like to learn about that may help you with videography that's not gonna cost you a lot of money because I'm not trying to make you spend a lot of money because I know you have it in you without spending all the money on the fancy gear and stuff. So throw me some comments of things you'd like to learn about with videography and I'll try to help you out with that. Until next time, check out the top video. It's gonna be my last video on that anamorphic lens for the Pocket 2 and the bottom one is always what YouTube recommends to you. So. I'm gonna keep grinding here at Eddie Studios and come up with that next video to help you guys out. Peace, see you next time.